Hey, what's going on guys? It's Will. Hopefully you're having a great day today. In this video, we're going to be going over the top five tips for offering your music as NFTs and how you can get your music out there on the blockchain. And I know what you guys are probably thinking at this point. Why would I put my music on the blockchain? Aren't NFTs a scam? What is the whole reason for getting my music as NFTs and, and selling it? Well, let me just give you some background. So first things first, when you think about what you're able to get by offering your music as NFTs on the blockchain, you know, you might not have something congruent with the perspective of the artists that are successfully offering their music on the blockchain. Um, and if you are not keen on the idea of non fungible tokens, meaning something that is unique, verified on the blockchain, and can't be changed, but that is verified as that collectible, and that it's not anyone else's collectible, then you would find NFTs to be more attractive. If you were trying to increase the rarity of your art, and the longevity of your music projects, and also the value that is offered by your music. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is um, the proportional amount of money you get for offering your music as NFTs versus offering your music just on streaming. Uh, so there's a lot of interviews that we've done on this channel, and there's also a lot of very clear examples where I go and break down music NFTs. If you guys would like to learn how to offer your music as NFTs, then I encourage you to check out the free Facebook group down below or the free five tips for offering your music NFTs. It's an outline of this video and will help you as well as the three keys to music NFTs. So if you want to learn how to plan, how to create, how to mint your music as NFTs, then I encourage you to check out the links down below. So the first thing guys, again, is that you can make more offering your music as NFTs than if you were just doing streaming. So we think about how you make money streaming. If you get a million streams on Spotify, which is not insane. Um, it has been done by small artists. In fact, I've worked with many artists that have had multiple or multi-million amounts of streams on their songs. Even my wife who makes music with me and some of the songs I've done have been in the hundreds of thousands. But what I can tell you is that the amount of money that's made by getting a million streams is really um, anywhere from one to five thousand dollars. So you, you um, that's not factoring how much you would spend in on your marketing. So in reality, most artists are going to get anywhere from 1000 to 5000 streams, which is going to come out to anywhere from, um, you know, $1 to uh, up to $15. So if you factor in your average artist per song, getting anywhere from 1000 to 5000 streams on each song, you know, we're looking at around uh, one to $15 in revenue for that artist. Factor in the music NFTs and we're looking at a much more profitable endeavor for the artist. I mean, just take on the perspective of you have a song you're offering as music NFTs. There you have a song that you're offering on Spotify. If you take that song and you put it out as an NFT and let's say you're getting 5,000 streams, $15 over here on Spotify, but you take that same song and you make a collectible of it that's verifiable on the blockchain that when somebody buys it, it's going to be tied to your career and they're forever going to own a piece of your career. Now, why would that be attractive? Well, maybe they're getting more than just owning a piece of your career and investing in you at an early stage or a later stage supporting your career. Maybe they're getting access to concerts or access to certain things by owning the NFT uh, and they can resell it and make money by holding it or even so, when they resell it, you as an artist are going to collect second market royalties on that NFT that has sold based on second market royalties. So in the blockchain, on the smart contracts, you can specify on a lot of the platforms we use, a lot of them are um, minted on OpenSea or Sound. And when you put it out on OpenSea, you can specify second market royalties that you capitalize when your art resells. So not factoring in that, the second market royalties which is 
a massive amount if it's done correctly in offering you music. But thinking about just the initial sale, let's say that you have five minted editions of your song that is out on Spotify. You give your fans the opportunity to own a piece of your career, get access to unlockable content, and get the ability to be in group chats or get a call with you. Or maybe it's also gonna function as a lifetime ticket to any of your concerts. And let's say this NFT is $50. It's got unique art. It has unlockable content, whether it stems to the song or it has some art that wasn't included, like an unreleased version of the song inside the NFT. If you sell five editions of that song at $50, then again, you know, what would $250 do for your music? You know, would that mean a new microphone? Would that mean getting more equipment to be able to film your content? Would that mean getting some plugins for the studio to help you out? You know, those are things that can make a massive difference between just getting $15 for getting 5,000 people to your music, whether it's organic or you're paying, you know, getting 5,000 people to one song isn't an easy task. It still takes work. And so when you factor in that, versus you know you have 50 to 100 people that you can genuinely talk to about supporting your music career and getting some of the benefits of owning your music as a verifiable collectible on the blockchain. And what does that factor in? Now you're getting $50 for it. They're holding on to an asset of your career and they could potentially resell it and you can get percentage of those resale royalties. Now we factor in the $50 that you get $250 if you sold five of them. And that's looking like a lot more attractive for supporting the longevity of your career than just relying solely on streams. So that's when we can basically take the next step and say, not only is this going to help us grow, but the people that buy it are going to want to support your career and they've become more invested than just paying $15 a month to listen to your song on Spotify, not really connecting with you and not really, um, getting any benefit other than just listening to the music. So that's where they get more benefit. They have something uh, that they potentially could resell. And they're also more incentivized to want to promote your music so they can grow in the future. So these are some of the things that we want to think about, right? First of all, the amount of money that you can get versus streaming. Number two, we went over that your fans can get more out of your music than just simply buying or just listening to it on Spotify, but actually getting tickets or getting access to merch, getting access to unreleased versions of the song, having a verifiable collectible that's on the blockchain that they wouldn't be able to get anywhere else because it's unique. It's an NFT, meaning non-fungible. It's not tradable for anything else because it is solely unique. Dollar is fungible. I can trade a dollar for another dollar, no harm done. Even if that dollar is not in great condition, it's still worth the same as the one that was in okay condition, right? A dollar is a dollar. Whereas NFTs, you know, your NFTs are totally unique and that's what makes their value hold true. Now, when we have the third thing, we're talking about the actual development of the music, I means something that's verifiable on the blockchain. So throughout time, your music will be preserved in, in a ledger that's not going to be changed. And then number four, we have the ability to get your fans incentivized to want to promote your music. Now, that's a huge part of selling your music as NFTs, is that not only is it a song or something they can enjoy and get entertainment out of or value out of it if they want to resell it, but it's also something that when they buy, they're getting the great desire to want to grow your career. For what? All you did was simply take that music that you were already offering, and you put it out as an NFT and you added some more benefits, it's really simple. It doesn't have to be super complicated. You can go to any one of the dozens of NFT marketplaces that help you to be able to put your music out as NFTs. So the simple thing that we have is incentivizing your fans as well. And then number five, uh, this is one of the biggest things in my opinion, is that digital is always going to be something that helps you grow and is always going to be something um, that is ever changing. Uh, I like to tell a story about a refrigerator. You know, I was, um, I made music for Invisalign at one point and Invisalign's a multi-billion dollar company 
and I got to go do a speech at an event where I was talking about my experience making music as well as my experience doing marketing and also living a healthy lifestyle. And so I was giving the speech to a bunch of doctors that offer Invisalign and so that they can um, hear from someone uh, that has a good perspective on Invisalign, but also someone that has made a song about it, which I did, and they paid me for it. And so at the end of this event, I got to actually talk with the CEO of Invisalign. And so he is a billionaire, you know, someone that's had a lot of success with their business. And he told me something that I think really stuck with me. And he said, digital always wins. He said, take the refrigerator, for example, back before the refrigerator, what did they have? They had an ice box and everybody took their ice box and they filled it with ice. And every week or every few days, they would have to go and they get more ice and they put it in the ice box in order to keep their food cold. It wasn't the most efficient, but everybody did it. And it was how you would keep your meats cold and how the grocery stores would keep food from going bad. So there was a point where the refrigerator company invented the refrigerator. And when the refrigerator came out, a lot of people did not want to actually buy the refrigerator. They found that, why would I go get a refrigerator if my current icebox works just fine? I mean, it keeps my food cold. And the refrigerator company is thinking to themselves, guys, you get to leave your food in here. You don't have to put it, uh, fill it with ice every day. You just plug it in. It keeps all your food cold on autopilot. And it doesn't even take that much power, literally, it has all these compartments, it's so much better, but still, people weren't switching to the refrigerator. So the refrigerator company says, why? Why is nobody switching? There's so many reasons for them to use the refrigerator versus the ice box. They thought about it for months and they still weren't getting the sales that they should have been getting. So what they did is they painted their refrigerator white to look like the ice box. And everybody switched over from the ice box to the refrigerator. When was the last time that you saw an ice box, right? So we're talking about content here where digital is uh, very prevalent in today's world. We have AI that is absolutely growing the industry. Every single industry is being impacted and every single industry is going to need more digital, digital processes. And that's where NFTs allow for artists to verify their content that they produce and for them to have their content on the blockchain means that other people can own this content. And that means that the digital creations that you make can be owned by people and you can issue them out to owners and you can provide them with benefits of owning your content that you create and the digital, um, the digital enablement that comes from NFTs um, is going to revolutionize the way that people interact with content online. And so that's where when we think about uh, NFTs and how you can offer your music as NFTs, the long term benefits are there and also the monetizational benefits are there as well. So if you guys would like to learn about music NFTs, I encourage you to check out the free five tips to music NFTs down below to help you to be able to offer your music profitably uh, on the blockchain as NFTs. And then also there is the three keys to music NFTs down below. So if you'd like to learn with me one-on-one, -on -one, get a lesson library of lessons that will teach you how to offer your music, how to create, how to plan, and how to market your music as NFTs, then I encourage you to check out the three keys to music NFTs down below. Right now we have $150 off. And just a friendly reminder for those of you that are really interested in staying up to date with the music space, how the industry is being impacted by not only the new technologies in AI, but also how the blockchain's impacting or just making music and producing, then make sure to subscribe down below. And I would really appreciate it guys, if you do like this video to go ahead and drop a like, it really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.